I'm Corey Duke. Here are your top stories from Two Works for You. Sand Springs Public Schools is set to start construction on a new ninth grade center this afternoon. Earlier this year, voters passed more than $32 million in bonds to help improve their schools. This includes adding a nearly $15 million wing to the Charles Page High School campus. The Red Cross is setting up multiple resource centers across Green Country tomorrow to help those still affected by recent flooding. The agency plans to set up in Fort Gibson at the high school cafeteria in Warner. Centers will be set up at the First Baptist Church in Ed Duby Field House and in Sand Springs at the Charles Page Field House. And you may notice a few changes at the gathering place. The foot pedal boats and canoes are no longer above the pond and the beach area is closed. Those with the park tell us they removed the boats because of recent storms. They will be put back out and the beach will reopen, but it's unclear just how soon. Now let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Kirsten Lang. Good morning. Well, outside today we are going to be looking for a south wind and we'll see a few clouds in and around the area, but it stays dry. We're not worrying about any rainfall today. This is your future track heading into the afternoon. That south wind picks up about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Highs will get up into the upper 70s to low 80s. And then tonight, as a front moves through, you're going to be looking for a couple of scattered showers and storms to develop to the north and to the west. And there'll be a slight chance of those storms becoming stronger to severe, mainly impacting, though, the central and western portions of the state. Green country under the clear. It looks like those storms should be dissipating and losing their intensity, I should say, a little bit as they make their way eastward. So you'll see a few areas here of some patchy rain as you wake up then on Wednesday morning and you may hear a few rumbles of thunder, uh, but then that should be moving out by mid morning or so. Temperatures today will be getting up closer to around 81. Again, a chance for some rain tomorrow morning and then it dries out on Thursday. Friday, another chance for rain and then we'll look for some showers, possibly a few storms as we head through the weekend. Corey. Thanks for tuning in to this digital news update. Keep checking back for updates throughout the day. I'm Corey Duke, two works for you.